Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at the World Fan Cup or the World Cup Fan Club. Alright, and uh, they do have a pre-sale you know, coming up, but before we get into that, I do want to let you know that uh, they had an order on this one that passed with no higher medium severity issues, and the team is KYC'd. So, uh, we can see here their page, uh, their pink sale pre-sale page. Uh, the pre-sale is not live yet at the time of me recording the video. We can see that we got the timer here just over 10 hours before this goes live. We see audit and KYC badges. Uh, we see that it's going to be whitelist only with a minimum buy of 0.4 and a max of 1.2. So, I mean, I prefer, you know, one BNB and below, but, you know, this is pretty close to the sweet spot, you know, in terms of max contribution. So we see that the initial market cap is going to be just over 54,000. The pre-sale rate, you're getting a lot more tokens actually, you know, going through the pre-sale than you are going through PCS. You know, so just be aware of that. And the liquidity lockup time is going to be 365 days after the pool ends. They've currently got 244 addresses whitelisted. That number, the number of addresses may grow. So obviously, what have they done? They've oversubscribed, you know, their whitelist because they want to ensure that they do fill the hard cap. So um, just be aware of that, that, you know, if... 1.2 is not a ton to put in as far as a max contribution. So be aware that if this whitelist, in my personal opinion, you know, gets anywhere close to 300, um, there is a high likelihood they would probably go ahead and fill the pre-sale just with the whitelist alone. So, um, but we don't know that. You know, we'll just have to see. You know, how the uh, how the pre-sale goes when it goes live. All right, um, and then I don't think I saw, yeah, so here on pre-sale, you guys already know, I mean, when we got like huge, you know, pre-sale amount tokens, when for a regular pre-sale, it's not like, it's not like it's for a fair launch, you know, that becomes a concern for me. So just because I don't know what the, you know, why the team has allocated so much, you know, so many tokens, you know, for, uh, for the pre-sale. So whenever you see anything really in my mind, you know, over 40%, you know, becomes a, a bit of a concern for me. So, um, because again, it's like, you know, why do you need to have that many tokens, you know, allocated for a pre-sale when you're not doing a fair launch? All right. Um, they do have a white paper on this project, you know, so just be aware that it's only seven pages, you know, so quick read. And um, we see a number of different links you know, up here in the navigation bar. And then we get a preamble here and an introduction, you know, which I'm not going to go through all of that. App features in regards to their app, you know, so staking, farming, NFTs, you can use your NFT for staking or farming. Staking and farming, both of them is coming soon. The DAP, the mobile app is coming soon as well. And then on the tokenomics, you know, we see uh, that we, it's going to be governance tokens, staking rewards, payment for purchase and sale of NFTs, voting down, and tips for idols. Uh, and then on the NFT side, there's going to be 500 NFTs. NFT holders are going to receive 10% of the tokens transaction fees. Use as avatar and social network FC Social. An opportunity to have a whitelist ticket to participate in projects in the FWT ecosystem. So that's basically going to be the perks, you know, to have the NFTs. Now, when we look at the roadmap, you know, so we look, we got several different phases. However, right away, I, I don't see what months constitute, you know, phase one, phase two, phase three, and phase four. That would be helpful to know because then it would also be, it would also communicate like, is this going to be a project that ends development in 2022 or is it going to go into 2023? and beyond now looking at phase one we see a number of basic things you know from you know conception building the con you know building the contract you know auditing kyc uh, creating nft banners social context for the project you know and design elements phase two we're seeing marketing building the social channels uh, partnering with major funds and communities around the world whitelist you know in the launch on pink sale so obviously we can it's safe to assume that this is basically where we're, where we're at right and then phase three, pancake swap, uh, NFT marketplace taking and farming. Like I said, that's coming. Uh, listing on CMC and CoinGecko and a centralized exchange listing. And then in phase four, we're looking at launching the vote function on FC Social, launching tip function for users and idols on FC Social, launching the BET function as well, launching the function to use NFT as a profile picture on the social, and running official apps on Android and iOS. So. Again, there are just some things that they could do, you know, in regards to the roadmap that would help to communicate, you know, one, where are you currently at in terms of development? Um, and, you know, when I look at what, what's going on in phase four, um, these are obviously, you know, connected, you know, to their social, you know, but I don't really see much 
development going on here. I see some launching of some things, but no really, you know, no real development. So in phase four, keep in mind, they don't have development going on in phase four. You know, keep in mind in phase three, the only thing that's really meaningful going on here um, in terms of the project itself is going to be staking and farming. Okay. Other than that, you got a pancake swap list. You got the listing on CMC and CoinGecko, which everybody tries to get, but you know, it's not up to the project. It's up to those platforms as to whether they're going to list them. And a lot of that's going to depend on holds account and volume. Um, and then you got the NFT marketplace, you know, so there isn't a lot going on in my personal opinion in phase three and phase four on this. You literally got NFTs and launching, you know, here and at central exchange, centralized exchange. That's aspirational. A lot of projects want to get to a centralized exchange and they never do. And then here you're launching some functions, you know, on the social um, and running the apps, you know, on Android and iOS, but there's nothing else going on here. So as you, as you, you know, assess if, you know, cause obviously on this channel, we don't even encourage you to invest, you know, but we do encourage you to get informed, but you know, let's say that you decide to proceed and get involved in this project and participate, you know, in my personal opinion, I see this more of a short term hold, you know, just be for me personally, if I were to do it, um, just because I don't really see anything going on towards the latter end, you know, of the roadmap. So uh, audit and KYC, you know, obviously, you know, we've already talked about um, we've talked about the audit and they didn't have any higher medium, you know, uh, severity concerns, um, you know, in the KYC, you know, obviously they've already KYC, you know, so this needs to be removed or not necessarily removed, but they need to add links, you know, for the audit and a link for the KYC and remove coming soon. Um, you know, and then we get you know, some features and it's taking the farming here um, and they talk about their NFTs here and, you know, they give us the team here, obviously, you know, not docs, you know, not photo docs, but again, we do have the KYC. So that takes us through the end of the project. So that'll do it for me, you know, in regards, you know, to um, the World Cup fan club token. Uh, as always, guys, you know, I'll leave the relevant links to the project in the description below. And with that said, you guys enjoy the day.